Security situation in parts of Niger state presents a challenge that is gradually undermining peace and stability in Nigeria's largest state that hosts critical infrastructure essential for food and energy security. Now, security experts say efforts must be ramped up to curb the security challenges in the wake of vandalism of power infrastructure. Sifonisian has details. Monday, October 28, days after a bandit attack on the Shiro Romando electricity transmission line in Niger State caused a blackout in the northern region of the country. The electricity tower that has gone been brought down by bandits and that together uh, we are pushing this morning to see how we secure uh, the, la the, the roads. Although bulk electricity supply is being restored, the incident exemplifies the security challenges in Nigeria's largest state by landmass and the extent of its impact. <laughs> Terror in Nigeria's largest state, a report by SBM Intelligence, a private security company, indicates that since 2020, when former Boko Haram leader Abubakar Shekau attempted to pivot the group's activities from the northeast, Niger state has become home to competing factions of insurgents. The problems that the North is having is tied directly towards the security crisis in, in Niger state. I would think that it's a self-fulfilling prophecy of some sort because uh, as far back as we were warning about the, the security threats in that particular state, we are one of the first people to send out the warning that uh, Abu Bakr Shekau, the when he was alive, was trying to move men and personnel. The state holds critical infrastructure essential for food and energy security. But the activities of terrorists or bandits undermine its peace and stability. That the military camp now know to have been taken over by the bandits who have to say they have established at least eight different camps on this land. Honorable Abdullah Isas remarks on the floor of the Niger State House of Assembly pitted him against the military authorities who have now dismissed his submission, describing it as incorrect and inaccurate. In this first quarter, but the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, acknowledged in the statement that, quote, our ongoing operations, particularly in Niger State, is against terrorists. It is therefore erroneous for such threat to be described in any other form other than terrorists. End of quote. We had thought that from the outset of the rainy season, we would be able to farm. But the security challenges are affecting us in Kutangora. There are villages we dare not enter. Given the sheer distribution of the security crisis, for, for some people, they might really look at the problem in Amariga and Kutangora, but the problem goes far beyond just these two local government areas. As a matter of fact, when the problem in Niger State started, it didn't start in these two local government areas. As of four years ago, two local government areas that were mostly buried were Rafi, LG, uh, as well as Shiruru. Right now, Shiruru is a hotly contested area between Boko Haram, the Nigerian military, and illegal miners, many of them foreigners. So occasionally, maybe once or twice a year, it gets to the flashpoints, uh, flashpoints of battles between the Nigerian military and Boko Haram. While efforts are on to curb the challenges, Factors responsible for security issues are rife. Siphon Asian, TVC News, Abuja.